Hello, welcome to a webcast on managing network interface cards. I'm your host, Gabriel Smith, and I'm going to show you some basic uh, NIC management on the Linux operating system. The scope of this webcast will be to cover NIC management on CentOS, Fedora, as well as Red Hat. The audience for this webcast is anyone who wants to more learn more about Linux. We have a few objectives. The first objective is to be introduced to networking files. The second objective is to be introduced into the EF2 command. The third objective is to be introduced to routing commands. And the last and fourth objective is to be introduced to IP commands. You can find some of your networking files in the ETC host directory. I'm sorry, in the ETC directory, the first file that we could probably find would be called ETC host, which is going to resolve some of the IP addresses to actual machine names. The second file that we can take a look at is resolve.conf, and this file is basically going to point to our DNS. We can also find additional files in the etc slash sysconfig slash networking directory. The files that we can expect to find are routing and host information type files. We could also find additional files in slash etc slash sysconfig slash networking dash scripts. We can f expect to find in this directory, we can expect to find files relating to configuration, control scripts, and network function files. Another file that we can expect to find in the slash etc slash sysconfig slash networking dash scripts directory are files related to the networking device. The syntax for the naming of these files would be first if CFG for network configuration dash and then the what comes after the dash depends on the network device you have installed in your system. So you can see in my system I have a network device called ETH0. Now this network uh, network interface card configuration file will look similar to what you see on the screen. You can expect to find the IP address, the net mask, as well as uh, the name of the device in this file and several other configuration information. Now if you wanted to tie two network cards together or network interface cards together you can also use these files to bond them. So if I were to bond two networking cards I would number one define the bond name and then number two in each file I would define yeah and I would define this in each file in each file I would define the bond device name or the virtual device that I'm creating by coupling these two cars together and I should also expect to find or indicate which card is the master and which card is the slave. The remaining slides basically represent uh, definitions for everything that uh, I've uh, shown you in the previous slide. Okay, so let's have a really quick look at the ETH2 command. If you want more information about the ETH2 command, you can always type man ETH2 and read the manual pages. If you want quick on the fly information, you can type ETH2-H for help. If you want to get basic information about the configuration of your network interface card, you can type ETH2 space and then the name of your network interface card. If you want to get actual statistics, about your network interface card, you can type ETH2 minus S and then space in your ETH2 uh, device. So let's just have a really quick look at these uh, as at this tool. Of course, as I've said, if you want to get more information about the ETH2 utility, you can type man ETH2 and you can expect to find detailed information on how to use this tool. As you can see it has lots of options. If you wanted to get quick on the fly information you can type ETH2 minus H and what you see here is basically a scaled down version of what you would see in the man pages. So if we do a if, if config minus A we can see that I have one physical network device or a network interface card and then I also have a virtual network interface card. So if I want to get more information about the physical network interface card I can type ETH2 and then the name of the NIC. And 
you can expect to find basic information about the NIC. For example, it shows the modes that it supports. It shows what mode it's currently in. It also shows the speed. If you want to get statistics on how that network interface card is performing, you could always type ETH2 minus capital S and then the name of the network interface card. And you should expect to see such information such as the packets that are sent and received. You should also be expect to see the size of the packets and bytes, as well as much more information. If you wanted to physically locate your network interface card for the purposes of replacing it, you can type the command eth2 minus p and then the name of your network interface card. If you wanted to change the speed of your network interface card, you could type eth2 minus lowercase s, the name of the network interface card, then the word speed, and then the speed that you would like to change to. So here is an example of that. okay so let's take a really quick look at some basic routing commands if you want to see what route your machine currently have you can type netstat minus rn you could also type IP route and these two commands basically give you different perspectives of your routing tables if you wanted to add an additional route you could always type route add and then the name of the IP address and remember when we're talking about routing we're basically talking about the gateway or the, the yeah the gateway that your machine is going to use to get to another network or out to the internet so if we type netstat minus rn we can see our current gateway is 192.168.1.1 and we can see is <coughs> excuse me configured for the device eth0 we can get the same information by typing IP route. We can see the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 and it's configured on device ETH0. Now interestingly enough uh, the netstat is another powerful command that you can use to get information about your system. Uh, you could simply type well first of all you can always look at the man pages if you want to see what your options are and as with many other man pages you can expect to find detailed information about this utility and if you go down a bit you can also see additional options So if we wanted to get the process or ID and name of the program which each socket belongs to, we can use a P. And if we wanted to get ex extended information, we can use E. So that would be a netstat minus EP. And we can see what, uh, what connections we have on our system. It is going to get give extended information as well as the process ID. So let's just give that a try. And we'll do a more because I know it's going to flood the screen. So here is uh, the output. Basically, Netstat alone by itself would just show you what connections you currently have to your screen. So in this output, we can see that we can see the state, whether or not something is connected or it's listening. Uh, we can see the processor. I'm sorry, the process ID and the name of the program and we can also see the path of the program so it's a pretty helpful command if you're trying to troubleshoot uh, different connections to your system
and if we just do a net stat by itself it should look slightly different here let me just clear the screen first it looks almost similar I was expecting to see the listening ports but maybe if I scroll down long enough it will show me the ports that uh, my machine is listening on at any rate let's not get off track here if I want to see what IP addresses I have on my system I could always just type IP address show if I want to add an additional IP, virtual IP address I could type if config the name of my physical net NIC as well as the number I want to give the new virtual device the virtual IP address in the net mask and mark it as up so let's just do that really quickly IP address show shows us what we have we can see we have one virtual network device already, already as well as a physical network interface card so we want to add another we're going to type if config if config uh, the virtual device new IP address the net mask and we'll mark it as up so now if we do an IP address show or let uh, if config it'll show us everything we have we'll do an IP address show maybe we'll just have to type it in okay so we can see the third network virtual networking device is set up ETH 0 colon 2 and the virtual IP address is 192.168.1.11 okay this is pretty much it really short and sweet webcast um, if you have any questions comments concerns you can send me an email at busy386 at gmail.com thank you for your time